Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So really quick, they're doing landscaping. Of course they would do it. I feel like whenever I, no matter what days I decide to like change my schedule for me to like talk on YouTube, they always seem to be doing landscaping outside. I'm like, really? <laughs> If you guys have been following me for a while and watching my videos, you guys know that I've been struggling with that. I just actually had a conversation with my husband. I'm like, when we buy a house, I literally want to be in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so like, no one can bother me. No loud car noises. Like, yeah. But anyways, just want to let you guys know in case you guys hear anything in the background, that's what it is. Um, so anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be answering your guys' questions that I asked you a while ago when I got back from my benefit trip. I was going to answer them on Monday, but of course you guys saw that I uploaded the ColourPop collection. I couldn't wait to do that collection for you guys and get it up today. I'm going to dedicate myself getting ready and answering your guys' questions. So I took a screenshot and I'll put you right here. Also, I'm going to try my best to answer all of your guys' questions. A few of them are, were almost the exact same so I'm not gonna post those here for you guys but I'm gonna try my best to make this video not super long so I'm gonna shut up and zip it and let's get going okay so question number one what are expectations you have to do for the brand on this trip with benefit um I didn't have to do anything so if you guys remember I went to the benefit browse search last year and and it's a trip you do you do have to follow um, because of the competition so they actually have like an itinerary for you on what the days consist of but for this trip, it was really nice and sweet because we just got invited to um, check out the Benefit headquarters in San Francisco. So fun fact, I obviously been on YouTube forever and I've been watching my favorite YouTubers online for years. And I would always be like, oh my God, like I would love to like visit Too Faced, um, Too Faced or Benefit headquarters because that's like the two brands that I would always see influencers go and like visit. With this one, we got invited to check out san francisco and then just a really quick like three-day trip technically like one full day there because the other two were like travel days and you guys know that traveling takes forever <laughs> yeah we weren't expected to do anything of course we could like post if we wanted to i've heard that other beauty brands when you get invited to brand trips like you're supposed to like film and create content for them but for this particular trip, I don't, we didn't have to, but I think it's because we just got invited to go see the headquarters. When I was there, you guys, I literally felt like God was telling me, like, this is not going to be the last time you see this or that you're here in this room. I don't know. I don't know why, like when I was like walking around, you know, just kind of looking around the office while they were giving us a little tour that kept repeating in my mind, like knowing that this is not going to be the last time that I'm going to be here. So um, yeah, it was just so unreal. And just to be there, I don't know. It was so cool. <laughs> Next question. Gabby is asking, do you get paid to go? No. <laughs> so for this particular um, trip, no, I do not get paid to go. But the cool thing about Benefit, you guys, and I don't know about any other brands because this has been like my only, like Benefit has been the only um, brand that I've been on trips with. So they take care of everything. So they send a fancy car to your door to pick you up with a guy in a suit, like super elegante and very fancy. And they drop you off at the airport and then um, Benefit pays for the flight, they pay for the, the hotel, for everything. They literally, I didn't spend nothing on this trip that I went. And when you get to the airport, también te está esperando un señor afuera. Like once you're going towards baggage claim and you're going down the escalators, like there's someone with like a big iPad that has like your name on it and they take care of your bags for you and walk you to the car service and then they take you to the hotel and vice versa, same thing when you're coming back home, it's the exact same thing. So they did not pay for me to be there but they did pay well actually yeah they did but they didn't pay me like to attend the event or the trip i hope that makes sense <laughs> okay next we have the best approach or the best way to be seen by brands so i have actually answered this question um on my live before too you guys i feel like a lot of people always have this particular question and honestly it really is just like tagging the brand like constantly like make a look right for an example like today i'm using this from artist couture it's literally creating a makeup look with a product and then just tagging the brand and wishing and hoping that they see you and that's not just on instagram you know use tiktok even with a lipstick right like the anastasia one you guys um the so i used to be on anastasia beverly hills um pr they were the very first brand that sent me pr back like in 2016 2017 and then like um i would get their 
products and then like all of a sudden like I stopped receiving them so I think they probably rotate their beauty influencers or I don't know how that works but I was no longer receiving PR from Anastasia and then I started uh, I did the reel or the TikTok of me using her lipsticks and tagging them and I got an email literally like the same day asking me for my info for PR so like you literally have to just like do a makeup look, do a lip combo look, tag the brand, and then that's it. They usually reach out through DM, for the most part, it's through DM or through your email. So if you are a content creator like myself, beauty content creator, always add your email in your bio so that way brands can see that and they can contact you. All right, let's answer some questions that are not about the trip. Um, will you be committing, um, committing long-term to this hair color? Girl, I have no idea. <laughs> Um, I really want pink hair like so bad. I might do it actually during the summertime like that's like my plan but I don't know yet. What do you guys think I should do? Should I keep this color? Should I change it? I know for sure I don't want to go back to like um, black or like dark brown. I know I'm going to keep it like a lighter color not go brunette in such a long time. I really don't know when I would probably go back to my original color but I'm having so much fun with this color that I think I might keep it until like the summertime but I don't know yet what do you guys think you know because my dad's birthday um his birthday's in April but we're gonna go to Mexico in December to celebrate his 60th birthday so I don't know if I want to have pink hair for that you know <laughs> all right the next question is how did you start working with elf so with elf you guys también lo mismo I think I did a review on one of their products to like um como se dice like to brighten under the under eye from a girl that i saw on tiktok and i was so in shock with what she was using it was elf to brighten her under eye and i remember i just did a review like or my thoughts on that and tried it and bought a product for them and i just tagged elf <laughs> kind of like the same thing that i did with um anastasia beverly hills and i just got an email saying like hey we would love to send you some stuff um from elf and then yeah that was pretty much it, you guys. So les digo, like all you really need to do is buy a product tag and i'm not gonna sit here and say that it's gonna happen like that right away like no when i first started you guys oh my god it took me forever i think it took me like a year or two years to actually get like pr and i was posting like back to back for two years so it doesn't happen overnight and it can be very discouraging and not gonna lie even for me now that i've been doing it for so long there are still brands that i wish i was on their pr list and i'm not so um and i bought in some of their products all the time and i still haven't been on receiving any PR from them and it's been years so you know it just one day it just happens I feel like as long as you don't give up and you continue to keep posting and obviously not make yourself go broke <laughs> buying every single product but whenever there's like new releases new launches like just buy the product and play with it and if you genuinely love it make a post about it you know you don't want to just keep buying products that you don't really love because it's not really genuine and at the same time you want to build a community that can like trust you and trust your opinion. Do you reach out to brands? And no, you guys, I've actually never reached out to a brand ever, ever, ever in my life. I don't think it's bad that you do. I don't think so. I've, I've heard some influencers do it and they've gotten really great feedback from it and have received PR from companies, but I don't know. I feel like for me, like I don't want to be like, I don't want to say the word thirsty because it's not thirsty because if you don't ask you'll never know you know and if you don't try <laughs> then you will never know so yeah i've never reached out to a brand before i have like asked them for like just recently though it's just ask for like um to be a part of like or get invited to beauty events like i just recently started doing that when i get like emails from them letting me know that they're sending out new products like i'll just email be like hey you know just so you guys know like i know that i live in arizona and not in la but i can always fly in or drive that's so close to me i would really be you know i would really appreciate being considered for any beauty events and that's it so then i just send it back and they just say oh thank you like i will definitely keep you in mind and you know because so when i went to the benefit trip you guys um one of the pr people with benefit she's so cool um ella me dijo que they only invite people to brand trips if you live in the la area because it is so much more closer you know and easier to send out an invite to people who live already in the city and obviously you know 
my thought was, well, see, no, because I'm sure, like, I'm not the only person they send PR in Arizona. Like, I'm sure there's many other influencers here in Arizona as well as like all over the country you know so can you imagine sending a beauty invite to everyone like yeah <laughs> that would be insane you know like that that event would be super packed so i completely understand why they only invite people from la because we'll say it's más fácil para ellos ir al evento than for us who live out of state, you know? Honestly, you guys, I've always wanted to live in LA and low key, I still do, but it's just so expensive. But this is me to you guys. I feel like, now I love my husband. I love him to death. I really do. But he is not one of those type of people that is like, yes, let's do it. You know, like, fuck it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> y yo si, yo si soy así. Like even moving here to Arizona, he never wanted to leave Oregon, like ever. He wanted to stay in Oregon till he died. Like he's a, obviously if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that he's a huge Oregon Duck fan. So Oregon is just always home for him and he never wanted to leave. Like I literally wanted to move out here. As soon as my sister lived here and I came to visit her, I was like, dude, but I've always wanted to leave Oregon too. I've never wanted to be in Oregon. Like my dream was to be a celebrity makeup artist when I was in high school. And I always wanted to just leave and move to LA to pursue that dream. But I met my husband and obviously when that happens, you fall in love, things change and yeah, se van los años. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like he is super supportive when it comes to like what I want to do, but I just kind of wish he was more like, hey, fuck it, let's go, let's see what happens. Um, but he's not like that. <laughs> he's definitely more like like, well, where are we gonna work? Where are we, how are we gonna pay rent? Like, it's so expensive. They're like, we're gonna have to live in a one bedroom apartment. And I totally get it because there always has to be that one partner that has to be like, hey, responsible. <laughs> the other one is more like me. Like, I don't care. I'll live in a one bedroom studio. Like, I don't care as long as I get to achieve my dreams and go after them. Like, that's the person that I am. So, you know, it sucks when um, your other, when your significant other is not like that. But I know that if I made enough money, like I know he would definitely move down to LA. I mean, you don't have to live in LA to get invited to brand events. I've seen other influencers also attend beauty events. So yeah, but that was another cool thing that she had mentioned to me that it's just easier for them to invite influencers that live in the LA area. Como crecer en las redes sociales and grow a community. I've been stuck in 5,000 followers for like three years. <sighs> Girl. <laughs> I can totally relate to this because before my Instagram account got deleted, um, I was, actually, hold on, I need some cream blush. Before my Instagram got deleted, I was stuck for like the longest. Um, it's really hard, not gonna lie. And it honestly takes so much of your mental health. Like being on social media has its perks, you guys. Pero la misma vez, it can be very mentally draining because you feel like you're not really good enough even though you've accomplished so many things you know what i mean like anybody girl could kill right now to have 5,000 followers you know what i mean and when i got my instagram deleted i had just reached 40,000 followers so and then i woke up to not being able to go into my account like it was the worst feeling in the entire world like i don't even know how to explain it to you guys because you work so hard for so many years and poof it's gone, you know? So, and that's why I like move over to TikTok now more than I have on Instagram because I low key no sé si like to trust Instagram as much anymore, you know? I keep going, girl. Like sometimes it, it really does suck and you feel like you're not doing enough, but you really are. And before you even know it, like you, your account, your subscriber account or follower account will go up. So, and I notice that it happens more when you really don't care too much like i remember i was so about like growing and growing and growing my instagram account that i kind of felt like it really took over my mental health and when it was deleted and i had to start all over again don't get me wrong i did cry for like three weeks straight i was so depre so depre you guys i got back up and was like you know what i can't i have to continue to keep going i have to pursue what i love i noticed too that i was like you know what i am not gonna worry about this anymore i'm gonna give it up to god and allow him to take over now like i no longer want to stress about this anymore and i have to constantly remind myself because i kind of feel that way too like on my tiktok account like i feel like i've been at 92,000 for like ever <laughs> and my views are like no longer than like or like not more than a thousand views and it 
it can get very discouraging you guys so like don't get discouraged keep going because you love it you know like you love doing what you what you love but i also understand that it is a mental fuck you know what i mean like it really makes you feel like you suck or like if you see someone else post a video that is very like what like how did this get like so many views and like my video is actually freaking bomb you know what i mean and great quality and you didn't get as much views as that person like that can really like mentally fuck you up like fuck you up like not even gonna lie because <laughs> i've been there you guys i've been there so many times throughout my um social media journey also you guys sorry i don't know what the hell they're doing outside and it's really bothering me like <laughs> what the hell although trust me like even though your favorite influencers don't tell you that like i'm sure we're all going through the exact same thing sometimes too when it comes to like your true true followers like they love post seeing you post every day and sometimes it does kind of suck when like um, like you're like you have so many followers and you don't get that much um, say you say like traction like um, engagement there you go engagement like sometimes like I that does get to me and I know that a lot of other people are more like silent watchers um, or silent viewers like where they just like like it and then move on and don't comment or anything like that so right now what I'm hoping for is for like engagement also if you get more engagement on your videos like the more people start seeing the video and the algorithm pushes it more for other people to see so building that community is kind of what i'm trying to work on because you know it does suck you know you work so hard for your video that you love and you don't get engagement like that is like the most saddest thing ever and it really messes you up and then you have good videos that like literally took you no work to do you know like it was just like a lip combo a lip tutorial or whatever and it gets so many um attraction or so many engagement that you're like what the hell <laughs> it just goes up and down you guys with social media it's definitely not for everybody and it's like a roller coaster it literally is a roller coaster so the only thing that we can do you guys is not give up and keep going keep pursuing our dreams and sometimes you'll have like those moments where like me right where you get invited to a trip a benefit trip like you're like oh my gosh like that gives you that extra boost to like keep going and keep um, doing what you love. Porque like uno nunca sabe, you know what I mean? Like there's days where you have a meltdown and you're like, oh my God, I'm not good enough. Like I suck at this, you know? And you don't get engagement from your followers. And then you get like an email from a brand that you're just like, oh my gosh, like, Diosito, gracias. Like, why am I complaining? <laughs> it legit is a roller coaster. All over how to start living by social media. So, honestly, you guys, I don't really make that much on social media. Lo que te gana más is, um, again, you know, um, so you said like partnership videos from brands, sponsorships. Oh my god, you make so much more money on that. TikTok también paga muy bien. And I don't make that much, but I think last year, let me see my analytics. I think I made like, let me pull it up for you guys. I don't know what's going on with TikTok. It's not letting me, it's not letting me show you guys. So you guys can see that. So it's so bright. The analytics right here. And I have TikTok shop and then the creativity program. But it's not working right now. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Sorry, guys. Let's see if I'm saying yet. Like, my analytics, like, cuánto he ganado in a year with TikTok. Probably gonna have to make a part two of this video. <laughs> but, anyways, so TikTok si te paga, pero no te paga si, like, mucho. And it kind of like, that's what me and my husband were talking about the other day because I was like, dude, like, I'm making, like, videos on TikTok. Some of them are making money and some of them are not. And they're the same length. And, like, yeah, it's so weird. I don't know how TikTok does that, but. Again, we go back to like engagement and like views and stuff like that. That helps your videos out so much to make more money. Um, so right now I make money on TikTok. Um, I was making money on Instagram until my Instagram got deleted. So I was making money on TikTok, um, Instagram and YouTube all together. And I would have like last year I had a three or four sponsorships with um, a beauty brand. And I did Dutch Bros last year as well. This year, todavía no tengo nada, um, but I'm praying that the Lord has really good ones coming my way this year so right now the only income i'm making is from youtube and from tiktok but you really can make a living off social media um, but again it goes back to that engagement you know like having people watch your videos and comment and engage that is the hardest part and i feel like people don't like influencers don't really talk about that like they're just like oh yeah i make this much money and da 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 but it's like okay but how 
you know what I mean? And I think I've figured it out and it's just engagement. Like you have to have people engage with your videos, comment and like, like them and view them. So if you guys are watching my videos, yes, I've been like support your girl, <laughs> support your girl so I can make a good living off of it. And you know what influencers say like, oh, thanks to you guys, like I'm here and it's, it's true. It really is true because engagement, engagement makes brands see your favorite beauty influencers. Beauty brands see that you have a lot of engagement and people view like a lot of views, a lot of comments, like that can really help that beauty influencer um, get to where they are today. And not all the time because I don't even have that many followers and um, I am still getting the perks, you know, just not a lot of sponsorships, but I'm still getting the free PR, which for me, it is such a blessing because we all know how expensive makeup can be. But when it comes to like getting sponsorships and stuff like that, like you do get some, but no es mucho compared to like what a big, bigger influencer gets because obviously there's more people watching them. There's more engagement engagement so they get paid more and a lot of influencers too on tiktok talk about how some brands can also take advantage of that because you don't have that many followers um so they're not paying you um what you deserve compared to a bigger influencer if that makes sense i hope this is all making sense so being on social media has been really really difficult but a community if you build a community like that makes such a huge difference so finding like loyal people to really support you on every post that you make um is so huge you guys it's so key so if you guys have any favorite influencers that you feel like deserve the spotlight that you feel that they are genuine people and like you know that they deserve it you guys support them not just me but like anybody else that you guys watch that you love like that engagement even just commenting a little heart or just something you know to engage with their videos like it means more than anything show support to your favorite influencer or micro influencer i hope that answered your question girl <laughs> oh i forgot too and i make money off my um lash brand she lash lashes so that's like my little side hustle um i love lashes i feel like i'm always gonna be a lash girly forever Ever. I love lashes so much and that's why I wanted to create my brand. I want um, luxury lashes for an affordable price. At first we started at $12 and I was like, you know what? I low-key want my lash brand to be good quality lashes for affordable price. So yeah, I make money off of that as well. Actually, another part to her question, if a brand asks for a video, how to start making money for that? I actually had three of you guys ask the same question. Like I said before, it honestly just depends. Like I have like a, um, como se dice? Like a, it's pretty much just like a form that shows them the breakdown of how much you charge, how many followers you have on each platform. Um, you send that off to them whenever they ask for your prices. In some brands, like for example, I just had a, a brand reach out to me and I was like, well, I charge this much for creating a reel and, um, or a TikTok. And and obviously they came back and some of them can negotiate and they told me that they wanted to pay me um, way less than that. I was like, I was okay with it just because it was like a smaller brand. So like they can do that. They can come back and say, hey, like this, 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 and this much. And then you can also counter back and see what works for the brand. But it just depends. Every brand is different. Um, you can even go like on um, YouTube is where I kind of like figure out like how to chart, like what to charge. Cause that's where like a manager comes in, you know, like it's so nice, but I can't afford a manager. So <laughs> that's why I don't have one. But yeah, managers are the ones to have because they can like negotiate everything for you without you having to get into it obviously they run it by you but managers will negotiate stuff and i try to reach out to an agency that a lot of like latino creators um are in some micro influencers and then some actual like really big ones but that agency rejected me i totally understand that god's timing is perfect so i reached out to them and they said no so not at this time to try again back so i don't know exactly what they're looking for because i emailed them back asking them oh awesome like no biggie like i would love to know like um what is it that you guys look for when it comes to accepting new clients to manage like but they never replied back so that's just really hard it's another thing that's really hard on another level i think that's like when you start making like a lot of money you know but yeah that's like a whole different world you guys that i really don't know too much about because I haven't had the opportunity to really like get a manager and how that works. Like I pretty much do my own deals and some brands will agree to pay what you charge. Cause I, I don't charge a lot. I don't, I really don't. 
I charge very little, but sometimes brands will want to charge you way less than what you're charging. And it's like, oh no, I can't do that. Like that's not even worth my time. You know, like if you guys do create content, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like you have to film it. You have to like make sure everything is set up nicely. <laughs> make sure you do your research on the products. Make sure you are recording it in like really good lighting and then make sure making sure that you're editing it, editing that video great and make sure you have everything that they ask for. And that's another thing too. Like some brands ask for a lot and they'll want to pay you what you're worth. So that's what I'm saying that a manager really comes in handy. But maybe one day, maybe one day I'll have that opportunity to have a manager <laughs> and get paid um, what a lot of other influencers do get paid, you know? Okay, let's do another one that's not related to like uh, beauty influencing, but what podcast do you listen to? Assuming you listen to them. Yes, I do. I listen to podcasts. I love podcasts, you guys. So the ones that I listen to are obviously La Platica. You guys, I want to be on La Platica one day. One day. I love that podcast as well as full coverage with Manny, MUA, and Laura Lee. Like I want to be on their podcast one day as well. Um, I listen to a lot of true crime. So I like Bailey Sarian. So I watch her a lot. Um, uh, Mile Higher is another one of my favorites that also talks a lot about like true crime is the other one that I listen to a lot you guys pretty much those are it I've been really into también um what's her name Jenica Jenica Rivera um Chiki's sister I like her podcast too and then that's pretty much it those are the only podcasts that I really listen to I'm really into true crime so I like to listen to a lot of that but I never miss a full coverage episode or La Platica episode there are literally my favorite ones to watch Amiga we need to know how you record set up and love the quality of your videos oh thank you so much babe so i did a quick little like video of what i used on my instagram and i also did a tiktok just talking about like what i use so everything that i do use you guys is listed in my amazon storefront which i'll link it down below for you guys so all of those things i use to create my videos and i can definitely do maybe a video of how i record if you guys want me to do a video like that let me know give this video a thumbs up and i can definitely do that for you guys and just kind of like show you behind the scenes of how I do it yeah let me know if you guys want to see that so remember you guys we're all on the same journey and we all want to get to that place and you know make social media a living because you can you can make it into a living I just feel like a lot of influencers don't really talk about like what it actually takes like yes there's some influencers that literally blow up overnight and it's so awesome like I wish that was me because <laughs> I've been posting since like 2015 2016 on YouTube you guys go back all down to my videos you guys will see I've been posting a very long time and I would work full-time jobs and I would come home film edit and post and I was working a nine to five so I've been going at it for a very long time so there's some people that literally blow up overnight and then there's some like me who have been going at it for years and are still not where you want to be but we can't forget also, and I also say this to myself, like we can't forget the little wins. You know what I mean? Like I have like experienced stuff that I've never thought I would ever experience. And I know that God has more for me and I know that his timing is perfect. And all I have to do is continue to keep pushing, keep going and keep doing what I love because I love makeup. Oh my gosh, I feel like I don't you know. There's also some influencers I have moved on to more like lifestyle, which is great because people love that too. But like, I love makeup, you know, so I don't feel like I could ever walk away from posting and doing makeup looks for you guys. And that is it, you guys. I think that's all I really have to say. And sorry if I didn't get to your questions, but if you guys do want to see a part two um, of this and just talking about social media stuff, let me know down below. I love talking about this stuff. Give this video a thumbs up so I know if you guys want to see a part two. And I love you guys. Don't give up, please. I know that I'm not going to, even though we have those dark times, don't give up. I, I won't if you guys won't, okay? <laughs> we need to make a pinky promise. <laughs> Las quiero mucho. Besitos. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Chopping up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the...